so I do wanna get in that room over there. We could just do that now I suppose. Just make sure no one can see me. Handled beautifully. Oh. I was going to wash my hands, I swear. Uh, yes, just uh making sure, you know, as the inspector. Inspecting. Hand washing. Carry on. Uh, yes, I do appear to be allowed in here. Good. Who's that? How do you get in there, I wonder? Hello? Why, hello there. Goodness, I always enjoy seeing guests, but it's been so long since I've chatted face to face that I about hopped out of my skin at the sight of you. Excuse me, I should introduce myself, though you might know me already, just not by name. I'm Bellhop Sullivan. You've likely heard my dulcet tones through the elevator intercom. Oh yes, I have. I recognize your voice. Pleased to meet you. Oh, that's so nice of you to say. I'm glad to meet you too. Now that our introductions are out of the way, do let me know if I can help you with anything. You said you operate the elevator, right? Can guests not press the buttons themselves? Well, yes, but having an operator certifies that the right guests end up on the proper floors. We wouldn't want toss ball players rubbing shoulders with CEOs. It'd be anarchy. Uh-huh. Plus, there's always the risk a guest chips a nail or loses a ring on a button. It's an extra effort, but the Grand Colonial prides itself on personalized service in all things. That and the elevator still works if I'm ever not around. I do take occasional breaks and sleep every so often. Hmm, well at least the buttons still work. Else it'd be awkward for anyone unable to speak. Not that I'd know anything about that. So I assume the bellhops all know each other. Any gossip on Norville? Oh yes, Norville's great. Always ready to help any and all guests who might need it. And so handsome too. Okay. His judgment sometimes leaves something to be desired, I will say. Kept badgering Halcyon Helen prior to her death about an autograph or something. A little beyond his station. Is that so? Assuming Norville is who I think it is, that's not what he said to me. Do you know anything about Halcyon Helen's murder? Unfortunately not. I was in the operator room for the elevator, as usual. The camera feed only allows me to see within the elevator, which always has many people coming through. For what it's worth, the murder was a right shame. I always enjoyed the serials starring Ms. Helen, though I did find them prone to repetitive plot structures. But I'm sure you've heard the rumor about what actually did her in. That marauders got into the hotel and management is covering it up so the guests don't run off? No, I hadn't heard that one. Have marauders been a problem here before? Well, not necessarily. But they're fairly prevalent on the other complexes. It really? wouldn't take much for them to find their way here. Slug claims they've got the problem under control. But I don't understand why they haven't simply gone and exterminated all of the marauders like the vermin they are. Oh, well, I'm just here to push buttons. You know it's Adrena time that creates marauders. I learned that recently. That is a very interesting hat. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, okay. Good to know. What am I looking at here? Ah. An industrial grade laxative has been added to the liquor in these bottles. Really? Okay then. There's also this thing. The head of Burbage 2000, torn from its body in the penultimate act of Titus Androidicus. Why? Foolish Burbage, dost thou not perceive, that Halcyon is but a wilderness of dissidents and it is only through our citizens' vigilance that they will be caught, report any and all suspicious behavior to your local constable. 
Why would somebody add laxatives to these? Who were they meant for? I would like to know how to get in there. I'm sure we'll find a way in eventually. Er uh, yeah you're Norville. You lied to me. Let's not see to him right away. Yeah I've been in here. Although I didn't have the discrepancy thingy majig yet. This is, employees only. Okay, I'm not being told that I'm trespassing yet. Have they taken the body yet? No. Just curious. Hello. Terribly sorry, but I can't chat just now. Someone on the second VIP level just ordered 15 canid meat pies, and if I don't get to it now, it'll be my head. Okay. Well, I'm the inspector. I've got some questions to ask you about Halcy and Helen's murder. I understand your devotion to your job. Really, I do. And I hope you'll understand mine. Things might change if you had something very particular to talk to me about, but I'm afraid I'm just too busy to talk right now. I'd be delighted to chat with you later. Um... Rude. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Okay. Uh... This thing? Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup. Approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Oh gosh. I can turn it on. That seems like a bad idea. Is this normal? Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. Yeah, for shame indeed. This seems like a workplace hazard. Is Slug not very competent with this sort of thing? Searching Slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Yeah, let's not turn it on. Huh? Oh, you can only see the grease through this. Uh, hey. Ah! I'm so behind. I'm sorry, I still can't talk idly right now. Come back if you have something very important you need to discuss. I mean, I think I do. Never mind. If you blow up, it's your funeral. Doesn't bother me. Okay, there's something this way. An exit. Yeah, that just goes out. I think I've seen everything on this level then. But I will just double check. How awful. I left my favorite jacket in there. Yeah, I think I've seen everything I can get to right now. I want to see if there's a way into that bellhop's room. How strange. Did I just miss the door somehow? That goes up. Where does this go in? Oh. All right. Let's see where this goes. I wonder if I can find a way into the VIP levels from here. Or any floor I'm not allowed into.
Nothing yet. Hello? No, I ain't. What the hell? Yes, I am supposed to be here. No, I don't think the waiter is coming back with our drinks. It might be my fault. I'm sorry. Er, uh, okay. Why? What happened to the waiter? What game is that for? I don't recognize those markings. That just goes back down. You'd think there'd be a door to come out onto the balcony. From inside. I feel like having to go outside and then up some stairs to get here kind of defeats the point of a balcony. But there you go. I'm curious what those colored smoke plumes are. Let's have a look at the map. Oh that is a blurry ass map. Why is, okay there we go. So this is the orchards I imagine. You'll need to find and interrogate the Prophet of Profitability regarding her involvement with Halcy and Helen's murder. The Prophet runs her seminar retreats out of an extreme productivity camp deep in the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. So that's over there. Head to the Purpleberry Orchards to begin your investigation regarding Helen's recent activities there. Perhaps you'll find some insight into who would have wanted her dead. I'm gonna go there first I think. To the Orchards. Which is in that direction. Oh. No, don't kill me. The hell? Raptodons on the hotel grounds. Somehow that don't surprise me. Hmm. I dunno, I'm a little surprised. Can I go in here? Wait, what? I won't steal anything. I just want to see what's in here. Nothing interesting. Oh uh, yeah, I wanted to see what's in there. You know, before we were rudely interrupted. Looks like a greenhouse. Reminds me of Adelaide's place. Pool cleaner. Blue water coloring. Chlor. Chlorin. Sol. It seems Rizzo's has set me up with a rather straightforward task. Slug has an automatic mixer for their pool cleaner. If it's automatic one would think it wouldn't need to be manually cycled, but I suppose I should be thankful it works at all. Instructions. Mix the chemicals by cycling each vat, then use the console to create a compound once you have the desired combination. Not exactly building a terraformer here, but no matter how simple these things are, some people will still have problems. Good that I've been at this for as long as I have. Seems odd to store all of these chemicals together. Putting some of these together would render that pool less habitable than some of the sulfur pits on Monarch. Perhaps that's why they decided to hire a professional. Beneath the entry there is a note in different handwriting, any opportunistic freelancer that reads this should meet me on the hotel balcony. I have a business opportunity. Was it that guy, who said something about a waiter? Interesting. View that one status. 
Brominating oxalator. Blue water coloring. Brominating oxalator again. Existing chemical in canister will be removed and chemicals in vats will be mixed into a new compound. Uh, let's not do that right now. Let me read that note again. So chloronosol is red, which is value number one. And it's now chloronosol in VAT1. This is to make the pool cleaner, so I need blue water coloring. Which is blue obviously. And number four. Wait a minute. Blue number four. So that one. Then we need chloronosol, which is red. Then hydrogenated whatever. Defoma, defoma, which is orange number five. Okay, does that one go to five? No, does that one? Yes. Blue. Which is four. And the red one. That should be correct, I think. Let's try this. The worst that could happen is I kill someone. No big deal, right? So does that come out somewhere here? Or does it go straight into the pool? I guess it just goes into the pool. Hopefully we haven't killed anyone. Where was the pool? I think it was this way wasn't it? Or was it on the other side? Might have been actually. That's a hunting reserve over there, in the clouds above a gas giant. <laughs> Makes about as much sense as any of this, I suppose. Yeah. The views Nyoka would like it there. Really? Considering the circumstances, that's the euphemism you decide to use? I want to go to the pool now, see if anything happened. So we'll make our way there. Let's just see what's in here first. How grimy. Where does this go? This is disgusting. The Dissident Queen, Chapter 3. Halcyon Helen commits regicide. Some hours had passed since Helen's entry into the Dissident hideout. She had fought no small number of slug men, destroying the abominations in singular fashion, and had met several employees from many corporations, each forcibly taken by the Dissidents for use as test subjects. One such freed captive, who had called himself Hephaestus Harry, had accompanied her as she descended into the lair of the Dissident Queen. Helen had exchanged only a few words with him and now would be able to exchange no others, as the man now lay in a bloody heap at the foot of the dissident queen, who Helen now saw, was not a person, but a tremendous mutant slug. The dissidents who had apparently been guarding her were themselves quite dead and lay in various stages of mastication throughout the room. The queen feasted on Harry's remains, but as Helen stepped forward the monster wriggled around to face her, a true queen for a gang of parasites. Helen shouted. The dissident queen reared back, 
opening its mandibles wide, and gave an inhuman shriek that shook the very foundations of the base. Hi. We're the future of Sublight, just you wait and see. Slug Storeroom. This place is absolutely filthy. Something mighty strange went on earlier. What happened? Norval get his cap stuck in the toilet again? Not today. I was carrying a bag up to the second VIP guest floor earlier. Even for our guests, it was spectacularly heavy. Wow, exciting. I wasn't finished. I took a bad step and dropped it. Know what spilled out? Rocks. Whoever owned it, you uh, hear about the murder? How the hell could I huh? not have heard what about, about it? What about the rocks? I wanted to hear about the rocks. Out of order notice. Please excuse our mess. We're working hard to remove all of the valuable treasures our valued guests have misplaced into our pipes. Per usual, items recovered from the sewage inhaler will be auctioned off at the start of the month to employees of the Grand Colonial Hotel. Note that sanitation materials will be auctioned off as well. Happy hunting! Get anything good for lunch? free nut butter and jelly-free jam on premature bread. Tastes like nothing. Looks like you win this round. I couldn't afford lunch, so I caught a sprat looking around crew quarters. Boy, really? But uh, it's something. You know those things eat garbage, right? Good point. I'll try that next if I can't catch any more sprats. Ha ha ha. Funny. I was a few minutes late with room service. Of course the hotel don't give their workers a decent living. Why would they? That be, you know, decent? Indeed. You're an artist, Captain. Thanks. Ah, there's Sullivan. Hey. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you. Anything you'd like to discuss? Uh, no, not really. Just saying hi. This is where they live. This pile of cartridges contains the IDs of Halcyon Helen's sidekicks who were killed, mortally wounded, mulched, melted, torn to ribbons, decapitated, or turned into mechanicals in the line of duty or otherwise identified post-mortem. Wow, quite a lot of them. So was it just the characters who died or the actors as well? And why are they here? Oh crap. Did not mean to do that. Okay, that's locked. Here they come. Oh jeez. No mess, but the best. Someone come help me. Uh, hello. I can't open it. I would if I could. Not sure how to get in there, mate. Is there any way I can get in there? That way. Hey. Oh. Wait, what? Was that you talking? Oh dear. I'm trapped in room A3. Please. 
Someone come and help me. Couldn't you just get out I'm that way? I'm feeling weak. Please just open the door. And I'm not sure how much longer I'll make it. The door. The door is stuck. And I know I need to write a service request, but I can't get it under the door. Is anyone there? What exactly was eating? Did you eat yourself? To survive? And then try to flush your hand? Trace amounts of Sprat saliva on this current stump, former arm, indicates the starving bellhop fed the starving creatures with her flesh. It's a shame she was unwilling to eat herself first. Okay. How odd. And this is your service report. To whom it may concern. Please consider this note as a service request to fix a 3's faulty door. I deeply apologize for not following proper protocols with this informal request but my terminal is broken. Too broken to submit a service request form to fix it. I normally would never thumb my nose at our standard operating procedures but I've been stuck in my room for several days now and believe I will likely starve to death quite soon. Well, I hope to hear from someone soon in regards to processing this urgent request. Thank you. But you could have gone out that way. What were you thinking? I'm being very nosy. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Okay. I wonder whose room this is then. It's B3. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Frozen dinners. This collection of frozen food has not been restocked in some time. Many of these items are not available in the Grand Colonial, and must have been brought in from outside. The fridge was transported here from one of the guest bedrooms upstairs. Interesting. Room B3. Let's remember that. Oh, sorry. B2. Parasite. Are you friendly? I guess. Excuse me. Janitor's private diary. Dear diary, my new living quarters are real swell but I'm having a bit of trouble getting to sleep every night. Management kindly offered to board me up in the hallway while they commandeer my room for Spectrum launch storage. Since then I swear I've been seeing things. Now I'm sure it's due to lack of sleep on account of the darned leaky pipe above my bed but last night I saw something like a giant worm slither past me. Now don't get me wrong, I'm entirely grateful over all the space I now have but I have to find a way to get some rest before I go completely mad. No there's a worm in there mate. Welcome our mods. Access door controls. Engineers note, you have accessed the Bob Mott's personal minimal effort door control protocol. If you are reading this message and you are not Bob Mott's, exit this console immediately. And do not enter my personal quarters. I'm obviously Bob Mott's, what can I tell you? Unlock room C2. Okay. Access messages. 
Notice of termination. Robert, this is to inform you that tampering with hotel property is unacceptable. You were not authorized to repair the malfunctioning time clock. I know you were eager to avail yourself of Rizzo's free tour in exchange for 10,000 hours on the clock, but you've forgotten where your loyalties lie. By accepting that free tour, you would have unwittingly agreed to become a part of the Rizzo's family. You're slug, not Rizzo's. Or rather, you were slug. I'm disappointed in you Robert. Consider this message or termination notice, effective on receipt. So we've unlocked C2. Let's go take a look at that. Incoming. Oh come on. Kill it please. Thank you. Oh, that's the last of them. This is C1. And C2. Heads up, boss! Our skills are unrivaled. Grand Colonial Hotel Uniform. I feel bad stealing but, I don't have one. To whom it may or may not concern, I don't understand why I deserve to be terminated. I was your engineer, I fix things. Your time clock was malfunctioning. You were logging one hour for every ten I put in. How is that fair? And yeah, I admit it. I wanted that free tour of the distillery. I put in my 10,000 hours and I deserve to wet my throat with a little spectrum violet. I didn't know accepting that free tour meant I'd join the Rizzo's family. You know I can't read fine print ever since that welding accident. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Catch a freighter back to the groundbreaker. Sublight won't pick me up. So I guess that means I'm going to go talk to Mr. Ludovico, hat in hand, and beg him to employ me. Sorry, I take that back. I won't have my hat in my hand. I turned that in with the rest of my personals. It was a stupid hat anyway. Mots. Tough break. He was terminated so I guess no one lives here now. I can take stuff. Oh. There's a dead guest here. Sprat of unusual size. Probably unfriendly. Maybe. Or not. You're just eating a bellhop, that's fine. On the outer worlds of the outer worlds, there's a place that's full of cheer. You'll see happy wings, things to Rizzo's drinks, there is